Conversation Hat Podcast. Welcome to the Conversation Hat Podcast in an unseasonably outside episode. It's yeah. It's I think we're well, in a field. We are, we, yeah, we're just straight up in a field. There's cars over there. There's. Cars there's over there. Fair. As if they know where over there is in the, in the audio. <laughs> okay, there's cars. People might be listening southwest. in stereo. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, so, 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 what we'll do. If, you, if, if, if whoever's listening, you are now Liam. Mm-hmm. Liam, describe your environment as if, like, you're, whatever direction you're sitting in, you just imagine you are Liam now. Right. So Wait, so am I Liam or am I imagining that? You're, you're Liam, Liam and you're describing what as, is around you. So it's like you're, okay. be, you're being an audio VR for them. Got it. Right. right. So the front of me is slightly veering off into the distance leftwards. There is cars. <laughs> leftwards. Yes, the direction <laughs> of leftidity. <laughs> uh, can I add to that? It's a road. It's not just cars. Yeah. Like they're moving. There is a car in the field <laughs> over there, but it's parked. Again, over there doesn't hit. Because of the, <laughs> over there being my left. Thank you, good call. <laughs> you are the you worst go. tour guide. Well, for this I'm also the worst podcaster. Okay. Our guest today is Simon Kane. Well, <laughs> thanks for the invite, then. Like, You're very welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Were here anyway, so like, actually, <laughs> <laughs> you were just kind of sat in a field, yeah, yeah. so just you just walked around. Do you know, this is not doing anything for my reputation. Where people say, "I've got something to tell you," but you can't put it out on a podcast. But as if I just record my life and constantly <laughs> broke. Bro- I mean, I do, but. Um, no, I, I've been trying to get on this for a while. Yeah, we've been trying yeah. to sort this out for very nearly a year. Yeah, you, t- you tweeted me about a year ago. Yeah, about a year said, ago. And you said, hey, when are you in Cambridge? <laughs> when are you in Cambridge? Like some aggressive thing. And I was like, I don't know. When are you in Cambridge? Hello, stranger. Like, what is, I want to show you, you the knife crime. Yeah. 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 And, then, and then we started emailing, and then, mm-hmm. and then we, we lost out on a couple of opportunities. And now, we did. apparently, on the one sunny day of the year, I don't have anything else to do. So it's... Yay. <laughs> That's why we're sat in the field recording a podcast and drinking. I think we should all say, before we get into it, we should all say one thing that we haven't anticipated about recording outside. There is a man passed out under the tree in stinging nettles. That's the next guest. (laughs) I'm on edge because I don't do well in nature. So I am constantly looking around for bugs and things. Uh, uh, I said your name, but did I say what you did? I was like, what, what do you do? What, what I did, or what I did. What you do, <laughs> what you are doing. What I did is not relevant because a case is still pending. Charges were dropped. But what I do yeah. uh, is I'm professionally hilarious. And uh, I mean, it's debatable, but I am. And um, Although, I'm biased as well. <laughs> I was going to say the only two gigs to you, gigs of yours that I've been to have been free. So yeah, that's true. you are hilarious. But not commercially viable. Not yeah. commercially viable. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, that is literally, that is my website. www.hilarious.org. No, dot edu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teaching other people I'm not speaking to. Uh, yeah, so I'm a... Um, Shut up, you biking wanker. So I, I ride right is a motorbike. I tell, I tell you what, I didn't anticipate the amount of heckly vehicles. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be fair, in our studio, there is a plane that only ever flies over while we're recording. I mean, that's it's just uh, one rich bugger that just does loops. I like that. I like he's the one listener and he's like, oh, I'm on the podcast. <laughs> they won't have me no, on. I'm you won't have me on, will you? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm a, I'm a comedian, a podcaster, and a writer. And your show is uh, Ask the Industry Podcast? So I have, yeah, I have two podcasts, one called Ask the Industry, where I interview commissioners and agents about what they do. And yeah. I have one called The Audio Time Capsule, which is uh, where I get a guest on, get them to leave 20 questions, and then a year later get them back on to answer them. Genius. And then they chat to each other, they yeah, chat yeah. to them past self. Not got around to listening to that one, but I do like uh, Ask the Industry. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, I have others, but they're not out yet. Conversation. Fave day of the week. Okay, fair enough. Can um, I ask who's, who's that was? Have you two? Not uh, me. So it's yours. It weren't me. Oh. Some of them get sent in, some of them are other members of staff, right? Oh, right, okay. So I'll just, that, that should I put it back else. in or do I put it? Is it uh, like, just shove it there. Because what will annoy sorry. me is like when I have like a box of chocolates and people put the wrappers back in. Oh, those so people. They can, those they can people go away. So I don't want to put prison. it back in the hat. Okay. Yeah. So I put it to one side. Um, I get just, Tuesdays off my day job at the moment. That's quite nice. Oh, that's like most people. Oh, you're picking logistical. Okay. Yeah. I thought, just, you, I thought you meant as in like, like the meaning of the day or like, you know, horoscope style. You've got literally no, no, just, just I literally do Tuesdays is my current day off. Okay. That will change come September, but well, yeah. So if you're listening to this before September, Liam's free on Tuesdays. Tuesday. Yep. And if you listen to after. Well, I mean, I do all the freelance work on Tuesdays, but like it means I can stay on my pants all day. It's oh, that's good. a good day then. Yeah, yeah. I don't uh, have to like Other days he goes clo- commando. <laughs> yeah, just he just goes to work. <laughs> like, yeah. I would get so fired. <laughs> well, no, no, if he went commando just like with actual trousers on. Oh, mm. right. so you could go commando. I'm not saying okay. go to school with your 
dick out. School. School. I, I went, went school. Oh, okay, fine. I was like, why the fuck are you going to the school with your dick out? Like, this is a whole other... You told me to be responsible. <laughs> and this is what happened. Favourite day of the week. I don't... I don't think... I, I think my favourite day of the week is any day that I can lay in and not feel guilty about it. Mm. Sure. Because I always right, feel guilty yeah. that I'm not... I always, I always get up about nine and feel like, oh shit, I'm going to die. I better get moving on today. <laughs> That's yeah. literally the first thing my brain thinks. Yeah. And like, if I've sp- say I spend the night with someone, literally I'll get up and like, if they're still asleep, I'll go and just do some editing with my headphones yeah, yeah. on. And normally they'll wake up and go, why the fuck are you working? And I'm like, well, because you... Because you, I if, want you to leave. If you want to rest, you can do that, fine. But I'm going to die and I want to get stuff done. <laughs> so when you wake up, I'll get back to bed. But while you're asleep, I want to get a run-in or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's perfectly acceptable. Not every woman is... I don't know. Well... <laughs> I need to date you, is what you're saying. Yeah. Because you're fine with that. Yeah. <laughs> You sing? No, you're not single, right? No, but, you know, we can are you work You in an something. open thing? We can work something out. Are you in an open relationship? Um, I'll, I'll make a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to hear this. What a, like, oh, yeah. what a terrible phone call. She doesn't listen, call, she's fine, it's great. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, so what's your favourite day of the week? You've, you've avoided it. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to say Thursday. Because, well, because Friday... Yeah, yeah, I thought you were going to leave it there. Just well, go, no, no. Next Thursday, <laughs> next Thursday, Thursday the 18th. Really long no, yeah. no, no, I'd say Thursday, because Fridays... And Saturdays, everyone sort of goes, oh, we have to go out because it's the weekend. I don't do that. Which some, but it, yeah, I don't really do it that much. I don't much have any, friends, to be fair. I don't so. do it that much anymore <laughs> because I feel like if you don't have a good Friday or Saturday, then you've wasted money and time. Sure. Sundays, yeah. I'm normally hungover because although I don't go clubbing on Saturday, I'm normally in the pub. Okay. Yeah. No one likes Mondays. Oh, as famous by the Boomtowns. Exactly. Yep. Um, Wednesdays, Any I think... dated reference? <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone get that? I don't yeah. know. No, sorry, I was distracted by whether or not we were recording, Tell which we are, it's fine. Oh, you get this man. gold. Come on. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Um, Wednesday, everyone seems to sort of goes, I like Wednesday because it's not the middle of the week. It's the hump day. You've got over the Wednesday, so it's fine. I, Fucking hump day The reason I hate Wednesday is because you get rudely awoken by the dustman. So... Mm, ah, see, now, <laughs> my bins get oh, just... taken on Tuesday. Oh. We're but I also well. sleep but that doesn't mean on the, the dustman doesn't floor. turn up stomp style, <laughs> like bagging stuff together. Well, I, 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 my bedroom's on the fourth floor of my house, oh, so yeah, we live offset from the actual road. So, so. I can't. Oh, do you yeah, live in the same bed? No. Like, well, like, <laughs> heavens, it's, no. we, we, our lives are a Morecambe and Wise sketch. Wow. <laughs> we just have nightcaps and so when we're in bed, we make not breakfast pajamas. to music. Oh, well, you're very much Bert and Ernie of the <laughs> mm, double team world. And oiled up Bert and Ernie. <laughs> wow. But like Thursday, no, oh, like, nothing, <laughs> nothing is expected of a Thursday. Right. That's on, true. Okay. on Thursday, if you do nothing, no one will go, wasted your Thursday. I think Friday, everyone's expecting to go home early if they can. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Every, everyone's sort of like, yeah. oh, thank God it's Friday, but you still have to work. But I don't have, I don't know, I don't have a, I don't have a similar work schedule to most people. So I so. have almost none. <laughs> I, I, just, I just do shit sometimes. I const- I'm just constantly working. Wow, so, do so I, I, have, don't... I have the most structured life out of the three of us. That's never happened to me before. To be fair, you're sat next to me, so it's I not difficult to be well structured. Yeah, I give yeah. my life structure. So I, I, I'm I, constantly working. So I, I, I normally sure. do eight hours of writing in a day. And then on the train... But that's like self-imposed. Yeah. Uh, that's amazing that you can do that. No but, <laughs> no, but also I get paid to do writing for other people and places and things. Okay. So I have to, So basically I'm but always nine till five. Place I'm always that. doing that. But regardless. the time and place is like up to you of how to do Yeah. I would not be able to do yeah. that. Like and I then, need... I've got a good situation where I have a day job which is 10 months out of the year pretty rigid. Yeah, well, hey. Sorry. Yeah, thank you. Um, that's, <laughs> At school. See, <laughs> see no, your doctors. No. Hey, wait. God, he doesn't go commando. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like, the rest of the time is my own, but because I've got that rigid structure, the rest of the time I can do, like, the freelance <laughs> stuff and it's really easy while I can't... Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> rigid. <laughs> I'm just saying structure. <laughs> well, we've got made a choice life. between insight into his friend's life or a boner joke. Yeah. <laughs> I think he made the Why right Why not call. both? Okay. I did, yeah, I... So, yeah. Boner. Well, so. I'm already disagreeing with this because they've used the wrong your. Oh, oh no. There should be an apostrophe and an E involved in this your, but... Oh, fuck. Did you write? I have no idea. You're okay. a pirate. You are a pirate. I'm assuming that this terrible thing is... Well, well let's hear the rest of the sentence first. Yeah. Peg leg or hook hand or eye patch. So, if you're a pirate, would you rather have a peg leg, a hook hand or an eye patch? 
Okay. I know something interesting about eye patches. <laughs> of course why, you. why pir <laughs> pirates are depicted as having eye patches? Not because they lost an eye. Oh yeah, I know this. It's because it's because he told you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's because yeah. we both watch QI. All <laughs> oh, right. I thought you would just be like laying in bed, going, "Hey, hon, <laughs> <laughs> I've got a fact for you before you go to sleep." <laughs> Do you know how pirates? No, no. Well, like, clear your ears um, out. Oil. It's uh, uh, because below deck they ain't got windows because water would get in. Oh, I see where this is going. Yeah. Um, it's really, really dark in the ship. It's really bright outside of the ship because yep. there's very little shade because, you know, yep. there aren't any trees in the water. So they just... So they... And you know when like you turn a light off when you go to bed and it takes you a while for your eyes to adjust? Yeah. They would have an eye patch over one eye, so when they went from the bright sunshine below deck, they would swap the eye patch because Ooh. that eye was already used to the dark, so yeah. they wouldn't have to go, hang on, hang on, and fart about for a while. I suppose so if it they're was going back and forth like that. so much, that's... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Genius. That's pretty good. Smart pirates. So is that your choice? Eye patch. I'm gonna say eye patch because it's clever and also not necessary. So it would retract it would take very little time out of my day. What would it does that mean now we have to pick between peg leg and hook oh, no, arm you, you or can, have we got all the options? You can you've because got all the options. It's just a game of who can choose first. Oh okay, so no, because I thought three of us three okay, you can got see what I was no, going to no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, you, okay. No, you can you can Because I was gonna say I'm jumping in quick then, otherwise yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, like eye patch is pretty appealing that way because like uh, hook hand would certainly screw me up music wise. <laughs> well, peg leg. <laughs> oh yeah, I do love the marimba so much. <laughs> uh, yeah, Learn peg leg could kind of screw up drumming as well. Well, you do. I I thought that you'd just get stuck. You could read music with one eye. I could read. I I mean, most of what I do is on the fly or like I don't need to read it. So yeah, I could probably go just go with one eye. Mm -hmm. Although, like, losing the eye, I would vomit everywhere whilst losing the eye, because I don't like eyes. I've got yeah, a, really a follow-up question about the hook, actually. Yeah. Can, so, in some of the pirate shows, shows you can, like, remove the, the hook. Yeah, can right. I get those, or is it only a hook? you got to buy the accessory pack. Yeah, I'd have the it's accessory It's like a spoon. Yeah, 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 yeah. A whisk. In which case, or I would definitely finger. have the... Yeah, because all I'd do is I'd add a hand on <laughs> most of the time, <laughs> and then switch it back to a hook when I feel like being piratey. Play with, darling. I'm gonna get the shocker out for this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be good. I could get my no, eyes. No, honey, get the fist. This is oh, my break. Just put my section. Put like a flashlight on and yeah. <laughs> punch yourself in the cock. <laughs> punch yourself amazing. to oblivion. I'm gonna yeah. fuck my stump. Yeah. Red raw stump, mate. That wow. sounds good. I'm having a red raw stump. That's good. <laughs> red raw stump. Yeah. Red yeah. raw stump. You got that. Uh, cool. Uh, well, yeah, most we, of what we, I say we, is references, by the way. Like, oh yeah, we're gonna go see League of Gentlemen, aren't we? Yeah, we are. My oh, you, uh, okay. Uh, this will have been out by this point, so I can tell you this. I've got uh, Jeremy Dyson coming on the RC industry. Cool. Awesome. Fun. Yeah. Good well, excited. Job. Yeah. He's he's really excited. Well, he's listened to a few, which is like really helpful when you're approaching people because you don't have to explain it as much. Mm. Yes. So that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. you know, when you speak to him, if he's interested in doing any more podcasts, <laughs> I will. I will definitely mention this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can tell him how much of... fun you had on this. One. I will. Do, I'll be like, right. By the way, your episode about in July, and so will this one. So if you just <laughs> want to listen to extra content, yeah, yeah. Uh, Support your box of flyers as well. Yeah, yeah. no, it's, it's exciting <laughs> in the sense that because uh, we're doing it over Skype because he, he oh, lives awesome. in Yorkshire, and, I, yeah, and yeah. I'm not willing to go to Yorkshire for a podcast. Yes. Yeah. Even though he's worth it, stuff. I'm not willing to do yeah. that. Um, so yeah, it's a bit annoying. Awesome. Bloody Yorkshires. <laughs> Yorkshires. Yorkshires. Sorry, Sorry Jeff. Them damn puddings. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so are so we the best part. two eye patches and a stump hand? Yeah. I wouldn't put that on match.com, but yeah, sure. <laughs> That's my turn to profile. Two eye two patches eye and a stump hand. Isn't that a blindfold when you've got two eye patches? Yep. Do you just call it a yep, blindfold? It depends if you wear two eye patches or a blindfold. Because they'd achieve the same goal, sure. I like, True, yeah, but I feel one's like an sexy eye, and one's... A, a blindfold would be easier to put on than two <laughs> eye patches, particularly if you've got a stump hand. That's true. Correct. But maybe, and well, they're I, more accessible because you get them free with most plight. I would want flights, my, flights. I would want my partner to put it on me anyway, because then it's kind of sexy. I wouldn't want to be, if I'm putting on my own blindfold, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm like, hey hon, come on in, I can't see you now. <laughs> partner putting on a peg leg wouldn't quite have the same effect. <laughs> we
conversation mm-hmm. hat. So worst place for a holiday. Okay. Um, should we just do, should we do go around like do yeah, fictional I've, I've got first a and then or do you want to just well, go, I can, you go, I can go. do uh, so uh, fictional hell mm-hmm. because it's designed to not know. be great. Wouldn't that be f- because. Uh, be, You'd be I able think to the come kind of, back. The kind of person who'd go to hell, I would imagine, would like hell. Do you know what I mean? Like the kind of person who would get if, sent there. If it's oh, you're like, visiting. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah you, you're you, in come, you can come back. And okay. it's, it's the kind of hell that presumably is designed for the specific purpose of not being a great time. How long have you got to go like there a, for? Two weeks. Fortnite? Fortnite. Fortnite. Fortnite in hell. Okay, Fortnite yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just yeah. enough to kind of be a pain in the ass. Uh, worst place. Maybe literally. Yes. <laughs> Good. Lord, I'm terrified of sodomy. <laughs> really? Not really. Give I don't well, have mate. strong thoughts either way. Oh, okay. I've not thought that much about buggery, to be honest. That's a shame. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think a lot about it. Hey, here we go. <laughs> uh, worst place, real. Um, just anywhere camping. <laughs> <laughs> I, I misheard that for a second for you. But anywhere camp. <laughs> <laughs> so all of I, I don't want to go really anywhere too flamboyant. <laughs> I love Brian. I do like Brian. Brian's so so fun. Okay. Go to Brighton this summer, I think. So you just don't like camping? I, I just like do camping. not like camping. So a campsite would be pretty bad. Yeah, yeah that's pretty. So I, yeah. I mean, I was going to pick Western Superman, but you've kind of picked camping, so I can't do that now. Well, you can. No, yeah, you get donkey rides person. at Western Superman. You yeah. go up and down the beach on a donkey. Yeah, well, that doesn't sell me enough of sleeping in a tent. <laughs> no, no, yeah. Given I said earlier, I thought you just I'm meant Western Superman in anxiously general. Anxiously with every you know sort of bug, <laughs> I don't really want to be sleeping with them. Yeah. I, I, I got a theory about how we're so. We're so out of the food chain. We're now re- we're so far from nature because like, I feel so uncomfortable in the natural environments. It's ridiculous. But you're a, you're loving it in Tesco's. I love Tesco's. <laughs> I, whenever I have a breakdown, not a sponsor. Like, whenever I have like a mental, but genuinely, whenever I have a mental breakdown, I go and sit sit in like a food aisle or something and just enjoy like being in the cold. It's <laughs> lovely. It's really good. It is. I do. They I normally do. ask you to leave after I a while. Do, if it's I do that store. as well. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Get your balls off the chicken. <laughs> oh, see what I mean about well, I bugs? Myself. Have him. <laughs> I've killed him because Fuck he was him tiny. <laughs> Fuck him up. Have him. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Beat the shit out of that. So, hand. okay, right. Th- this location is my. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> this location, the company, right now. the time is yeah. just all awful. All the equipment. No, yeah, no. Um, <laughs> Fuck your task out. <laughs> I'm a Zoom sponsored. <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> Zoom all the way. No. Where's fiction? I don't know where there are fiction. You just say where's fiction? Yeah, because I don't know <laughs> where. No, but I don't spend time. I don't spend a lot of time reading non-fiction. So gotcha. I all I know is Hogwarts and right. Hell and Heaven, and that's really it. Mm-hmm. I don't really know. Oh, Lord yeah. of the Rings, I don't, but I don't know the name of the place. So I thought that was set in New Zealand. <laughs> it's filmed in New Zealand. New Zealand that's the it's one. set in Middle Earth. The so book it's... was not filmed in New Zealand. Oh, okay, fine. So I do, I, I don't really know fictional. Um, fictional. Uh, oh, okay. No, I, I had a dream. But this is Martin Luther. I had a dream about four weeks ago, which, which was set, and I don't know where it was set. But I, I had a fish that was my pet, and I accidentally poisoned him, and I had to watch him slowly die. So I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick my dream from four weeks ago <laughs> as my fiction. Okay. It was, I like he was, it. he was like, you know, those uh, outside car showrooms, the sort of air. Blowy things, those things. Mm. Inflatable um, arm flailing. The, yeah. There's one over there. Yeah, looked, there is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, to, to Liam's yeah. left. The blue white thing. He looked like 11 one of those, for Liam. And he had little face and big eyes and he was just moving around and I accidentally gave him the wrong food and then all of a sudden I saw him just <laughs> shuddering away Dump. and I had to watch him die and I was like, I'm so sorry. What I didn't was mean it. flapping in like just his face? It wasn't a real, it wasn't a real fish. It was just like, okay. a, yeah. Right. It was in a dream. It was made up. But I, I swear no, to God, I, I, I woke up crying. Like I was so sad about my pet dying. So it was a really intense dream. Did he have a name? No, I don't know. I just, wow. I just, I just kept tapping the thing. Going, I'm sorry. I'm just really sorry. And then I woke up and I was, there was tears on my pillow. It's awful. Whoa. So yeah, I felt really fragile that entire day. It was really awful. <laughs> so there, there's my fiction. Well, and then I had to review this butt plug. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then you get, you get woken up. Hey, Simon. Oh, it really looks like. How would him. you like to put this dildo in your face? Um, and uh, fictional, real um, Eminem world. I've got a real like pro- in Times Square. I've got a real any of them. I've got a real problem with them because they're just walk-in billboards, and I hate that. Oh, because what I you're doing you there? Meant the rapper. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> not his house. Ha- not like not like uh, Michael Jackson's right. Know, but Eminem's house. Okay. No, I was. I'm thinking M and M world. I love M and M's. Mm. Right. But I hate the fact that big corporations have found a way of buying adverts yeah, that are now sure. basically shops yeah, yeah and so it upsets me because that was that was a really shitty like shop where you could buy like you know hats that say you know i'm from london yeah, yeah and it was yeah. crap but at least it was an indie place 
Yeah, so yeah. I hate the fact that they've now bought that. I went to the Coca Cola thing... shop in Vegas and it's the same thing. I was like, I don't Do need not... this many I used to any things. I used to buy Coca Cola merch. I used to like it because yeah. I liked the the element of the history and the vintage of it, right? But I now hate it because of the way they've commercialized that. Yeah. There used to be a whole little subculture. This was before like social media where I was on little forums chatting to people going, look, I've got this bottle, it's 40 years old. It's really fun. And yeah, but now they just sell yeah, now ones that are now exactly they're... the same, but... Yeah. But weren't 40 years old, it's got the same branding on it. Yeah. yeah. My real place, I would say Guernsey. Right. Because I've been there. Not great. Hedges and old people. Okay. That's all there is in Guernsey. What? The oh. most interesting thing about <laughs> Guernsey is that the UK uses enough wrapping paper every Christmas to wrap Guernsey. That's why we that have Guernsey the, for that. That's point. the only <laughs> thing I can think <laughs> to put the wrapping but, paper somewhere. Well, think, Guernsey is only useful for that. When I hear stuff like that, I think we've still got cancer scientists. <laughs> Why are you working that out? <laughs> like, can we just can we put some extra cancer first? <laughs> yeah, put yeah. something at Guernsey the top of the list. Wrapping we'll sort later. out Guernsey yeah. later. No, I'm sorry to anyone who lives in Guernsey, but it's just it was not. You've my got a really big fan base there. I really did. <laughs> it's all Guernsey. I really did. <laughs> you not like you're just downloads <laughs> drop off from Guernsey. <laughs> so so Guernsey, Guernsey and fictional. I was gonna say um, the universe of Attack on Titan because that would Where? be terrifying. It's got big naked giants that eat people just for shits and giggles. But I would come back from that, or I might die on the holiday, but then I'd be dead. So I think True. heaven oh, yeah. would be the worst place to go on holiday. Right. Because Ooh. you go there and it's fucking awesome and you have two weeks of bliss and joy and then you come back and you're never sure if you're going to go there again. I like that. It's better. I now feel like I've got like a devil on one shoulder and like an angel on the other, like sort of sat over the side of the I forget hey, how, he how clever Ben is sometimes. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's, like yeah, that's, it's a very that's easy thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a very easy thing <laughs> to forget how fucking great I am. No, I, no, I, like I, I say stupid cool, things. Man. No, I like it though. That's yeah, yeah. Very, yeah, I'd say heaven. I feel like beer is your Samson hair, you know what I mean? Like, because the more you're drinking, the more clever it's getting. Unfortunately, I've run out, so I've peaked. <laughs> Give him my lager. Give him the lager, because oh, yeah. I'm not going to have it. <laughs> Um, I'll be I'll be gooder if I'm gooder. drunk. Gooder. I mean, do it. Do it. Do it. So yeah, that, those are my ones. All right. Guernsey and heaven. <laughs> what a combo. <laughs> Pull a question out the hat and then say what it says. That's the whole point of this podcast. What music do you only listen to in specific circumstances? Well, what are the circumstances? Christmas music. I used to listen to a lot of hip hop, but now I only listen to it at the gym. Uh, in fact, I listen to most of my music at the gym. Hmm. That was only cool. interesting to me because <laughs> um, most of the other music I listen to, I'm either writing or reviewing. So, listening for pleasure mostly happens at the gym. So, all music, gym. Uh, I used to. My mate's two-year-old loved Ninja Sex Party. Yes. But now, but is that a song? Uh, Ninja Sex Party is a band. <laughs> okay. Uh, from you America, remember they if write. I don't know that. They, that they write. Really... Yeah. So they write songs like um, No Reason Boner. Oh, yeah. And if FYI, I want to f your a. Yeah, there's lots great of comedy. Title. That's a great title. It's a very sort of title. sex songs, and but they're quite. When do you listen to those? Only with your cousin. I know it was my mate's um, <laughs> two-year-old. Really loved it because I guess the videos, lots yeah. of bright colours yeah, and there's a fun music ninja and stuff. that shanks people. <laughs> yeah, but then um, <laughs> then she started. Because she was like one when she liked these, because bright colours and music and stuff. Yeah. But now she's starting to speak, so <laughs> you can't re you don't Meanwhile, really. Meanwhile, Danny Sexbang. So like, That's the frontman. Yeah, the <laughs> frontman is Danny Sexbang, and there's Ninja Brian as well. But I get where they got the name from. Like, yeah. like, yes. But um, it was a five pm decision for them. Wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> sure. We spent she, longer on the songs. Yeah. So I would used to listen to them, but now can't really. So just sort of, yeah. I can only listen to those when. So She's not around when I listen to raunchy ninja sex party when there's not children in the vicinity. Mm. I suppose that counts. I'm trying to think of any other music I listen to in specific situations. Because <laughs> I listen to the front bottoms a lot, and their name right. is funny, but that's not really the point. <laughs> like I, the first, I listened to two songs of theirs, and I was like, I'm on board because they were fucking great. Yeah. And I found an interview with them because I was like, okay, I'm on YouTube, I'm listening to the thing. So I find a, an interview, and the first thing they, they said in the interview was because um, they'd come over to the UK, it was be Punktastic, which is like a webzine for years yeah. and they said um, do you know that over here the front bottom means lady part and they went oh it means the same in America and they were like oh so you knew that when you named yourself and they were like yeah yeah and they went why do you call yourself that then and Brian who's the lead singer just went well I can't really sing 
So if you can get past the name, you can get past the fact the lead singer can't sing. And I was like, oh, I am so on board. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. I'm like, he, and he can't like live. He is not the best singer, yeah. but he is so good with lyrics that I couldn't give a fuck that he can't sing. Because in the in the studio, the studio stuff's great, so it doesn't really matter. But when I ever go and see him live, I'm like, you know what? I can sing at your level, and it makes me feel yes. better. Because whenever I see a comedian Accessible who I'm like, music. yeah, yeah, yeah. they've not like made like a stupid effort, yeah, and I yeah, feel like yeah. you're really good. I'm like, oh, good. You you make me feel better that I maybe don't have to put on a suit and do all the yeah. off the curb crap. <laughs> so yeah, so I, I listen to them whenever I'm a bit uh, depressed. Mm. Does that help? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I <laughs> laughed anyway. Apparently. Yeah. Well, I uh, what's oh I, t- oh, I I used to listen to Dan Mangan whenever I was having sex. So, okay. I'll explain. Dan Mangan is an acoustic singer from uh, Vancouver, mm. and my my girlfriend at the time really liked him, as in his his voice. Right. And we needed a thing to drown out the noise so my parents wouldn't hear. <laughs> so, right. uh, we see when you said you listened to, I assumed that you had headphones on. It was, was like, more the parents here. Mighty fond of the coitus. Let me just pop <laughs> in. <laughs> I said, carry on, the honey. Coitus. I love it. <laughs> um, it was more. It actually helped because at the time uh, we were experimenting and I kept getting really excited and finishing more than I wanted to. Sure, so yeah. having a man's voice singing in my <laughs> yeah. ear really slowed that down. I yeah. am... and, uh, to the point of I'd be like, can we turn this to fucking off so I can finish? Because I don't want to have to come here and him sing about his girlfriend. Like it's <laughs> just get really Because I know you're structure. listening and like thinking, oh, oh sweet, not. the instrumental breakdown's coming up. I can finish. Yeah, I can finish doing that. <laughs> I'm sort of almost against listening to music whilst having sex because I was uh, with a girlfriend of the past and the TV was on girlfriend of the past (laughs) boyfriend of the future is that from the hat (laughs) it feels like a hat but um, yeah we were having sex and the TV was on and an advert came on which uh, had don't stop me now (laughs) and that it's impossible for that song to be on and you not go in rhythm do you know what don't (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not anymore. Please work. tell me that you coughed. Like you're like, oh, oh, yeah. I'm gonna hug you. Like, <laughs> well, I was sucking her dick, but no. Um, <laughs> do, you, do you know what I like? But about the, it? No, no, after that, the next advert said we're all going on a summer holiday, which is even worse. That's great for rhythm, though. We're, we're all going. going on but on it's a, not. It's so not a sexy day. rhythm. Um, it's I like, you, oh, better get on with that. I tell, I tell you what I uh, like about that is what I took from that is you have a free Spotify account where you're worried about the ads every six months. Because <laughs> I, I have a premium, uh, thank you, I have a premium Spotify account, which means I can listen to Dan Mangan uninterrupted and never come. So, <laughs> but like, we're all on board with that. It's a very wow. specific kind of high roading. It's a very, I, I mean, I, I just want to let all the musicians listening know that I support you, even if it fucks up my life. Favourite musical? Or show tune. I said favourite musical and show tune, but I think we can choose either. Dr. Horrible's sing along blog. I am not familiar. You're not familiar? No. Imagine Felicia I'm Day it down, right? and Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris plays Dr. Horrible, who is a failed uh, evil villain. Yeah. And uh, he then gets distracted by Felicia, who plays uh, his like love interest. Yeah. She's like a goody goody. And so yeah. he keeps having to like battle against his. W- wants to join the bad horse league of evil right and his love for her so he huh. wants to like blow things up but then he finds out oh shit she's a volunteer at that center or like oh I, i'm gonna ruin this dog i'm gonna shoot this dog because i get extra points from the evil league by doing that and oh crap she's collecting you know things for blind dogs and so, i mean you sold me at neil patrick harris to be honest yeah i mean but, nph is, is all yeah. the way but i also like felicia so i wanted to keep her in there which one's felicia day i know uh, her name Oh yeah, I probably do. The only redheaded nerd in Hollywood. And I know that sounds uh, horrible, but unfortunately yeah. she is. Yeah. She's flying the flag for redheaded ho- <laughs> ladies in Hollywood. And I don't yeah, think fair. that's unfair to say. No, that's There aren't many of them. As far as I know. It's like Ed Sheeran is flying the redheaded flag for music. Bad people. Oh. For, well, for music. Like I think uh, he, he did an interview a while ago where he said that more he, he keeps meeting ginger men after gigs and apparently yeah, they're getting true. laid more because he's apparently hot. So have you got a favourite music? I like, I've got loads of individual tracks I like um, because the the my day job, I tend not to sit through musicals, but I do a lot of work with individual tracks. So uh, It's Your Wedding Day from The Wedding Singer is a fucking jam. Mm-hmm. That is a good musical. Uh, there's little bits of Wicked that are really good. What? Yeah. I mean, you're wrong. <laughs> 
I mean, I know it's your opinion, <laughs> but it could all just of was absolute dog shit. I, really? I got given three tickets and I left in the middle and I still felt oh, ripped wow. off. I, I'm, oh, wow. Okay. I was meant to go and see that. My mate bought me tickets for Christmas. I was meant to go and see it with her in December, but she was ill. Yeah. So, bad. so now I'm... That's so bad. I've I'm only, sure. I've, it was awful. I, what, I've only I honestly, done Amdram production, so I've not actually seen it. I've Amdram never felt more like I've owed time back. Really? It was so bad. Interesting. Wow. I took my fa- so I was working for a, a ticketing agency at the time because yeah. they were asking me to write some stuff for them. And they said, oh, for Christmas, you'd like tickets to a show. And my mum was like, I really want to see Wicked. So I went, okay, yeah. we'll get you tickets. So me and my parents, my girlfriend at the time, and like, we just had like eight of us in a row, yeah. all for free. And then they're like, break. Like my girlfriend was like, oh, this is really great. And I was like, you're staying on your own. Because <laughs> we, uh, we're all thinking this is dog shit. And I have no idea why you're on board with this. So yeah, I thought it was awful. Interesting. Um, yeah. And uh, I went home. Early. I thought similar about the Phantom of the Opera. I've not seen it. I watched that for the first time okay. uh, a couple of months ago, maybe. Shit. I, th- I thought it was. Go on, no, spread it, it out to 500 words. <laughs> well, basically, I thought that it was um, a love story between this disfigured guy and yeah. someone who's singing. No, no, no. It's some creepy weirdo that's got a fucked up face. He's not a creepy weirdo because he's got a fucked no, up no, face, no, but different. he has a fucked up face. Yeah. And Incidental. Then yeah. This woman who's singing at the opera thinks that it's the ghost of her dad, and then it, he uses that to try and fuck her. I mean, why would you want to so, fuck the ghost of your dad? Why would, yeah, if you're going, Whoa. I fancy this girl, you're not going to go, I know what I should do. Some weird parental necrophilia. Has she got dad issues in the thing? I don't, I, I stopped paying attention. It was, and it fit, it should have finished <laughs> before it started, in my opinion, but it should have finished a good half hour before it did. I'm like, wow. please stop this. Is it's like him? two hours. No. It's one of different words. So we make it he's a <laughs> I'm not writing notes. I'm just like it's it's so, good tonight. It's yeah. so it's not good. I'll stick with the wedding singer then, shall I? Well, only I'm disappointed you didn't pick anything from the Dan band from that uh thing. So No. They're amazing. I love them. Ah, uh, okay. They're uh, the, they're yeah. the band that swear in the middle of songs. Ooh, is that allowed? Yeah, well, I can try. Happy birthday, to... you fuck. No, uh, I really it's, thought you were going to say It's more like, it's more like <laughs> I'm a genie in a bottle. You got to rub me the right way. Fuck, how you want it? <laughs> like, just chuck it out there. It's really good. Uh, I love it because they, there's three of them. There's one guy and two backup dancers, and they do the entire routines for the, like, in boiler suits, like, as if they just come from the uh-huh. mechanics office. It's fucking great. Awesome. Yep. Uh... So I'd say look them up. So you're looking up. Uh, Dr. Horrible and uh, oh, yeah, because oh, yeah, really Dr. Horrible oh, and the Dan Band cool. and Front Bottoms and the Front Bottoms. Look, start with uh, start with Talon of the Hawk and work your way backwards. Oh. So, I've been yeah. sorry, go on. No, go, no, go. Um, I've been in several musicals, so I would on purpose show off. Uh, yeah, on purpose. Yeah, not just like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't just wander on you. Oh, this is stage a... life. <laughs> Holding a little cane, going hello, my darling. Hello, <laughs> hello, my darling. <laughs> hello, all right. I thought I was employed. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you doing that. <laughs> You're really spoiling Les Mis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just a big long hooked pole comes out yeah. and drags me off. I would have started comedy sooner if I didn't think that was real. I always got scared. I was like, ah, <laughs> oh, what I, if I'm rubbish and they pull me off I of a cane? Thought it was, yeah. I thought it was a real thing as well. Yeah. Because otherwise, it why would it be in cartoons and that? It was at one point in the music hall. Really? I really want to finish this just because there's a bee heading this way. <gasps> that is a bee! Large bugger. <laughs> See you later, Simon. Uh, he's gone. With, it's I okay. The, can't deal with the, bees. the bee is leaving. The bee is leaving. <laughs> I can't, um, do, I can't deal he's with He's gone forever. And all that sort the, the bee's do you want to plug your stuff quickly and we can end? Oh, all right. Okay. I would so. say Blood Brothers or Avenue Q. That's Good shout, Avenue Q. I thought you were like plugging my stuff and going, uh, <laughs> like, as if it's, I've renamed See Simon came in Blood Bladders. Uh, Blood Bladders. Bad Bladders. Bad Bladders. I, uh, okay, so uh, I've got, a, oh, you put me on the spot and I've forgotten everything. Um, <laughs> what do you do, Edinburgh. Simon? Edinburgh, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm doing a show called Sex, Drugs and Other Things I Never Do, and it's at the Edinburgh <laughs> Festival, and it's 6 p.m. at Sweets Venue in the Grass Market. I have two podcasts, one called RC Industry and one called The Audio Time Capsule. Uh, both are, I mean, I'm biased, but I think they're really good. And uh, <laughs> follow me on Twitter at This Made Me Cool. And oh, uh, well, I don't know, because this might not be out by this point, but I've got two other podcasts in the works, so you can edit this out if you yes. really want uh, One's called Ironing Out the Kinks, which is a similar thing to um, uh, like sort of the other ones where I'm interviewing people but about their kinks and like sort of asking them dumb questions that you, you know, sort of misunderstand about them. Mm-hmm. And then I've got another one 
uh, starting called Echo Chambers, where I've got a friend on, I'm left wing, I've got a friend on who's right wing, and I've got a centrist, and then each one we have like a rotating person, and we all talk about political things that have affected us. So they might not be big in the news, but they're things that affected us, and we okay. discuss them over the other thing. Cool. So, and it, that's meant to be funny, so that'd be good. <laughs> uh, so we'll see if you like that one. Oh yeah, and RC Industries, where I um, interview TV commissioners and agents, and uh, so I'm trying to do it clean now for you. RC Industries, <laughs> where I interview TV commissioners and agents, and uh, get them to talk about what they do and how you can make your career, hopefully. And then the audio time capsule is where I bring on a guest, leave 20 questions, and then uh, they, so they leave on 20, I bring on a guest, they leave 20 questions, and then a year later I bring them back on so they can answer them, and then I get them to talk to their past self. So cool. if any of those appeal, yeah. uh, if they don't, I mean, I, that pretty much covers a lot. So <laughs> you must have really fucking niche interests, um, <laughs> which might be why they're listening to this, to be fair. Who knows? Uh, yeah. Yeah. People who love hats and questions. I like all these things. Yay. Thanks so, so much, Simon. This Simon, was awesome. Thank you very thank much. I'm so me. glad we finally fucking finally made this happen we cunting thanking <laughs> cunting <laughs> cunting cunts <laughs> loving it and that's all one usable brilliant oh, <laughs> cheers yeah, see you later guys blah, blah, blah. go and listen and do some shit they're already oh, no, get it. your job together <laughs> sort your life out what are you listening to this for <laughs> loser <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for listening to the Conversation Hats podcast. I'm assuming you're listening to the very end because that's how much you like the show, which is cool. So I'm going to reward that by giving you a few ways you can get involved or support the show. Firstly, if you want to submit questions for us to answer on the show, you can post on our Facebook page or send us a tweet at Convo Hat Podcast. Secondly, if you're a Facebook user, you can like and follow the Conversation Hat page, which guarantees you'll actually see the stuff we share on Facebook. Thirdly, we post videos about the show to YouTube via the Stabbed Panda TV channel, so you can subscribe to that. We also have some official merchandise available on redbubble.com. Just search for the Conversation Hat podcast. You can find mugs, bags, shirts, all manner of good stuff. Lastly, for the super fans, you can set up a Patreon subscription, which will give you access to new episodes of the show a whole week earlier than non-subscribers. Some of the different tiers of subscription can also give you access to behind the scenes stuff and patron only merchandise like hats badges which are not available anywhere else so if you want to take a look at that that is patreon.com forward slash conversation hat and feel free to do any of the other things and i will see you next time goodbye